Opinions matter. Opinions matter. Opinions matter. Opinions matter. Opinions matter. Opinions matter. All right, all right. Hey, hey. Welcome to another episode, all right, of Opinions Matter. All right, I'm your boy, K. Foy. Leon Keys. Rami McCadney. I'm Adolf Young. All right, hey, we want to thank y'all once again for joining us today. We got a, we got a treat for you guys today. Yep, yep. Um, for the Good. topic that we're going to be talking about today is something that's in the news right now. So we're excited to bring it to you um, so you guys, so we can get your opinion on what you all think about it. But before we start that, all right, let's talk to the fellas. Let's talk to each other and see what we, what's been going on since the last episode. Ron, what's been going on since the last episode, my brother? Working out of town last two weeks, man. That's it. Working out of town. <laughs> That's all I do. I work, bro. I work. I work. I work. I work. That's what I do. Chilling, yeah, okay. you know, just chilling, you know, taking right. care of the family like everybody else. What right. yeah. you supposed to do, right? Yeah. You know what you're supposed to do? And hey, no, what's been going on? We don't, we don't skip over. <laughs> Man, we've been, I've been like, hurrah, you know, grinding, trying to maintain. But um, are we gonna skip him now? We gonna skip him too? We gonna skip him too? <laughs> <laughs> but the thing that's been, uh, I think, <laughs> occupying a lot of my time is uh, working with this community group called Rise, and then our table talk discussions okay. that we've been having at Waynesboro really been good. The reading and writing camp has been tremendous for these young kids, man. And I didn't even notice, but one of the uh, facilitator shared with me that this young kid there, Isaiah, mm-hmm. mentioned to his father. He hadn't been reading evidently out loud like until uh, I, as one of the men that come down, actually we don't have enough men, but came down and started just reading with him, you know, just helping him sound out words. He went back and told his people he was excited about it. Well, that's so, good. so, you know, I'm, I'm happy about that. Little little incremental things like that. Been Reach good. one, mm-hmm. teach one. Uh-huh. That's it. Yeah. 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 Mr. Keys, what's been going on with you, sir? Oh, man, uh, time out. Time's up. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm> just... <laughs> I had to do it, man. Uh, man. man, you know, I started a new job. Oh, new job. Man. Man. Yeah. Hey, new job. Wait a minute. What new job. New jobs are good. So yeah. I'm just... <laughs> well, you got new news, but you always got some stuff that's you know negative. I got. A, yeah. I got a new neighbor, man. He done brought down the property. Right? Wow, <laughs> man, ain't nothing like a bad neighbor, man. Exactly, man. Dude, dude, wow. Terrible, man. All right, it's terrible. We'll, we'll cut you off. <laughs> hey, well, me, um, I attended a graduation yesterday. Oh, congratulations! Man. Yeah, man. Congratulations. Yeah, man. 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 Y
So what we want to do is get you guys' opinions on what you think about it. All right? Do you think that what Sessions says should apply to what Trump is trying to do? Or do you feel that they're using that for their gain in order to get support of their agenda? All right? So who wants to start? Mm. It really isn't a game. It's like it's, it's, it's trying to... It, because if you look at the history of that of that passage, it's, it's been like, and I'm looking at this on long line. It says Roman thirty has been cited by Nazi sympathizers, right? Um, That's and right. Fighting right. force of slave owners and loyalists opposed to the American Revolution. Mm. Mm-hmm. Modern Christians have wrestled with how to apply the passage to issues like abortion, same sex marriage, and taxes. Mm-hmm. I mean, right. why even do that? I mean, you try that. That, that furthermore fuels mm-hmm. that. That's a good point. Your administration is nothing that's doing nothing for blacks, doing nothing for minorities. It's, just, uh, it's a, uh, what do we call it? Basically, let's call it what it is, being racist. Right, Basically. right. And Jeff Sessions has a history right. of that, you know. Yeah. And Coretta tried to warn, yep. you yep. know, he years tried ago. He um, what, attorney of uh, Alabama? Right, or one that's of them, right. He tried to be attorney. They, um, some, one of them judges even tried to right, do right. something, and they, they denied him. Mm-hmm. But there's his racist views and and it's past racist views prior to that. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Right. It always hit a slippery slope when people start to add, add in religion, try oh, to mix yeah. religion and politics. It's not supposed to be that I way don't anyway. Think it, should mix. Right. it shouldn't mix it because right. that is a to me, and we'll go into the other religion part of the yeah, ourselves exactly. later, but it's it's always a way to divide. So yeah. so um Republican Joe Kennedy the third, he um he said a quote you know, he says, for I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you made me welcome, which is from Matthew 25. Right. Right. He used that. And then actress um, Mia, Mia Farrow, <clears throat> she used Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 10, 18 through 9. So she says, for the Lord your God loves the strangers, provides them food and clothing. Right. You should also love the stranger, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. So, so basically, a lot of them are saying that Sessions took the Romans piece out of context. Right. Who said that? Right. Um, a lot of those two. Lot, yeah, 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 at least those two him, individuals. Yeah. Uh, Stephen Cole, Cobain from the Late Show. I yeah, won't even. Yeah, I won't yeah, even play his piece. I mean, the history. I won't even play his, I won't even play his piece. The history right. of but, it. But um, how can you say it's out of context? And then when it's all been, then you got this red. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? How, I mean, how can it be when you've been always used by Nazis and and well, they, but, but they're saying they're saying out of context as in it didn't mean. That verse but, was not meant to be right. placed where he put it <laughs> in this particular sense. Okay. And I, I think, you know, to even just go back a little bit further, I, I just kind of piggyback on what Haran mm-hmm. said, when you are uh, trying to deal with the legalities of a situation and you try to fall back on religion, where is the separation of uh, the, the state and religion in that? I mean, you, mm-hmm. you can't you can't do it. You can't allow yourself to to, to to rally around religion when it fits your agenda. There you go. That's if, the problem. If it, there you want to fit what you want. And then, furthermore, this is the problem when you talk about this. You can get me started now. This is what happens <laughs> when you, as a, as a country, depict yourself as a Christian state. Mm-hmm. What about all the Muslims that reside in this country? Mm-hmm. What about all the Sikhs? What about the atheists? When you have all of these different people with different viewpoints come together and now you rally around what the Bible said as the meaning or the reason why you are putting uh, separating families and putting kids in abandoned Walmart buildings, that's a problem. See, that's the thing, man. People always interpret um, passages in the Bible differently. To fit to fit the, right. their own agenda. It's right. been going on, man, for, for years. years. It's been right. going on for hundreds of years, right. especially right. from, you yeah. know, and we're still dealing with that. Um, that problem today, you know, people always want to say, okay, well, the Bible says this, the Bible says that. Right. And it's always a way to put another person down, other, keep another right. person down. And that's fine if, well, it's not fine, but that flies if you believe in what the Bible said. That's true. I mean, I mean, if you believe what the Bible says, then when you hear that, you're like, well, he's absolutely right. But what my thing is, what about all the other people who don't subscribe to what you believe? Where's the separation of church and state in that? And prior to him saying that, um, prior to him making that <clears throat> that um, that reference to the to the Bible, he was saying that mm-hmm. illegal entry into the United States is a crime and it should be. He said um, persons who violate the law of our nation are subject to prosecution, and 
then that's when he cited, he said, I was I would cite you to the Apostle Paul and his clear and wise command in Romans 13. Right. And then he went on to read that verse. Now, my, my thing is, America's always been a melting pot. Mm-hmm. People come here. Right. And they, I think there's, I understand what he's saying, though. Like, like, and what I mean by that is, if somebody is, is here illegally, right? If they're here illegally, if there were ways that they could, that they could come in here legally, right? Mm-hmm. Then, if we were, they should they should be given the chance or the opportunity to pursue those right. those means. But in this instance, he's saying that families that have been over here already that right. have been displaced for for whatever reason, he right now he wants to separate those families. So the so the kids who were born over here can stay. Right. See, but, the, me, but, but the parents got to go. My thing is, what is the point of separating them at the border? Why would you do that? Why don't you just right. say, hey, turn around and go that way? Trying to kick them back, right. send them over if it's that serious but, but, to them. But what about the Watch. people who have been here for years and mm-hmm. now they're going and, and deporting people? Like I, I, I read a story. Like I read a story um the other day. Man, sixty one years old. He was outside cutting his grass, and ICE came and took him. Now right. he had a That's he had a, he, now That's he had a, now the only thing they can lean on was when he was like nineteen. Now he had he was a legally legal permanent resident mm-hmm. of the United States. He never got full citizenship, but he had been paying his taxes. He had been a model citizen, you know. Like I said, and um, the only issue that he had was when he was like in his twenties. He had like a, a, a domestic um, dispute with his wife, yeah. but that was like forty years ago. <laughs> and they're using that statute to say, okay, well now we have a legal right to deport you. And so, so what do you say about people like that? So you can't, it's, you can't have it you, when you got it like that. You, they should have a plan and say, hey, let's get this guy. Let's get him see um, a legal citizenship. Right. But that, that's all. Right. That's simple. I mean, right. but we ain't that's dealing with a simple. Yeah, we're dealing with a simple president. Yeah. Yeah. So he comes in with no plan. Say, oh, y'all gotta go. Right. Mm-hmm. If you've been here how many years, whatever, I don't care. Right. You gotta go. All I right. mean, that, that's so, crazy. You breaking so, up families, man. And so right. I question. I got, I got people that served in the military. Right. Right. And he's sending them back. Come right. on, man. Man, that's, that's served your whole served this country, and then you gonna send them back and say, oh, you illegal. So I got a question for you after I read this this quick patches passage. So so basically in Romans thirteen, if he's going to use that as a keystone, mm-hmm. then he also has to look at it a bigger context, right? So the Apostle Paul argues that the same passage that all commandments are summed up in the teaching, love your neighbor and mm-hmm. yourself. Paul continues to point out that love does no wrong to a neighbor, therefore love is fulfilling of the law. He also says that Paul here also echoes the law. And teaches of Jesus Christ, and this is a central message of the Scripture. So there's a bigger portion of that. Rome, it's not he just can't take that verse, and, which is what he did, and move it. Now, <laughs> now, okay. So I'm being the devil's advocate here. So we're saying that. What is your opinion, and what is your point on bringing people, the people coming over here illegally? Should mm-hmm. something be done, or should everybody just be allowed to come over? See that you can't. But that's another. That's another point. That and that's what they're arguing. But my they're saying, okay, um, they're these illegal aliens are over coming over here, taking jobs from right. from people who are <laughs> citizens you know here and all that good stuff. So what do you got to say about that? All in my opinion, uh-huh. is he's trying to get a border wall built, right? Of course, and he's using all this, of course, as a to his base a means to rally his base up. So oh, yeah, we need the border wall. We need it. We need. When Obama was in office, he deported more than more um, illegals than any other president in recent history. Speak on it. You know, and okay, so now he takes over, and all of a sudden, there's a big issue, it's a big problem. Hi, well, where you get your numbers from? The guy, he's lying. He's, he's, hey, he's right. I mean, but you can't. But you're also, but he's trying to be selective as well. Yeah. You know, so there are certain people that he will allow into the country. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. You know, so it's mainly it's mainly just you know Latinos. Yeah. It's mainly. Um, brown, brown, yeah, brown, it's, people, it's, people. it's brown people. But if somebody from Ireland or somebody from Thailand, maybe he was probably going to say, "Okay, we will, right. will, 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 will yeah. create a passageway yeah. right. in order for you to become a legal citizen." However, you know, uh, and, but if it's somebody from Jamaica, mm-hmm. you know, you think about it. There's a lot of there's been a lot of there's, 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 there's a yeah, lot of he's very selective as to who he wants in the country. Just, he's like, like, like you say, he's, he's lying, and, yeah. and, and nobody wants to. Nobody wants to. Nobody cares about the truth if a lie sounds better. Right. 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 My man, right. Char- my man, Charlemagne the God yeah, said that. Right. 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 So, so nobody. I think that we have to. People have to be 
They have to do their own research. Right. They have to. They have to be willing but also, to do that. But also, man, what is the compassion for the for the kids, man? You, you know what I'm saying? I go. mean, and I, what's her name? Uh, Sarah. 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 Yeah. Sandra. Yeah. Uh, Sandra. Somebody she, at the press conference yeah. saying you're a parent yourself. So how can you she justify? Yeah, yeah. But say no. I mean, so. Well, and here's the other thing. You know, because we got to call it what it is. A spade is a spade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are directly opposing black and brown people to the south border. Do you know that there are immigrants that come in from Canada? Nobody talks about that. Mm -hmm. But that's a real reality. But because of the color of the skin, and that's what it is, of these people that are coming in this country from the south, all of a sudden now we need a wall. We need to have these uh, rules in place. We need to separate families. We need to tear kids away from breastfeeding with their mother so that they can go into an abandoned warehouse, some of which are behind cages. We won't talk about that either. Mm -hmm. You won't even let congressmen in, senators in, to come and view the situation because you know it's bad. But also, mm -hmm. but also that um, you, you said something about that, you, or did you say What's something that? about they're taking our jobs away? And yeah, they said that. I, said, I said something about that. The whole thing about it is the, the, the jobs that these people are doing you don't even want to do. You don't want it. That's exactly right. And now you, and then you take these people out of the jobs that you don't want to do, yeah. and then then what? See, but and this is but but this is the point, and this is where where this administration comes in at, and we really don't have a. Some people really don't have a concrete answer to it. So, mm -hmm. if they say, "Hey, they're coming over here and taking jobs," true indeed. The fact of the matter is, they are taking the jobs. You know, but if you look deeper into that, those are jobs that maybe some Americans don't want. Exactly. But the point is, the fact is, we can't deny the fact that they are taking the jobs. So that's what they get it. That's what they get us at. So even though we come back and say, well, nobody wanted that job anyway. No, the fact of the matter is, I mean, that's the jobs are taken. That's true. So at what point though do you close down the border and you stop accepting people over? Because do we agree that it, it that illegal immigration is a, is a um, would it be an issue? No, um, no, I don't think it would. Do we think not. it's an issue because? But it, it, let's right. say we, but let, it was an issue. So let's say we let all the all, all the legal immigrants. Right, right. At what kind of process? I think that there should be a process. I agree with I that. Agree with I that, agree with that. But there should be some kind of process. You can't because what you do is you allow MS13 gang members <laughs> to come in. You that's allow. Not, that's not even a problem. Like, like they say, that's not even really. A I mean, issue, all, 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 all the problem, stats like. and all that is overhyped and over. I mean, but, but what I'm saying is, you can't deny that there are some that you come can't, through. You can't, you can't that, that, if it's but it's one. not at the level that they right. And I agree. I agree. It's, not. it's been amplified. All you, I mean, all I you need to do that. is come up with get down and, and the Republicans and everybody get together and say, hey, we need to come up with a a, a, a law. This is a process. And that's what they're not doing. That's what we want. Somebody wants to come in. You got You got to be in his. If you over 90 days or whatever in this country, then you need to. Apply for blah blah blah. There's right. always be some that's going to fall through the cracks, but that doesn't yeah, mean that doesn't always, that doesn't mean he, it's going to be. He's overhyping it. Right, right, that's what I mean. It's not a major problem. You're going to no, have people not. that's going to fall right. through, yeah, right. and exactly. there's going to some be there's going to be some people that's going to sneak in. I mean, yeah. right. you're never going to totally stop. No, right, right, illegal no. immigrants coming in. But what Kevin said, yeah, go but, ahead, go ahead, go but ahead. yeah, there should be a process, and also. A screening. I mean, you have to do background checks. There's mm -hmm. ways to do it. If the government can oh, yeah. find out who's who is doing what someplace else, you but know I, what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, I think where we mess up it is we try to fight their facts, which may be facts. It may be true. Some of the stuff is true. Like that, you know, with, with the legal aliens coming, what do you do? Right? Do you want do you do you want to accept them all, or right. should you accept them all, or or whatever? Right? So, I mean, um, they're, they're so yeah, their facts are true, but they're overinflating. They, they their are facts. over. Right. They're making it seem like. And oh. I think that we're right. We're we're fighting it different. Right. You know. So do you fight it with with that with facts or legislation? Well, I think some of us are getting real emotional about the topic, right? Sure, and not sure. attacking it and holding our the people that we elected into office accountable. accountable. Yeah. To, to him. yeah. And then he then he comes up and says the Democrats is the Democrats' law, blah blah. How's the who's right, in charge right, of the yeah, House yeah, now? Exactly. It's Republicans. So how is the Democrats' fault? How how they somebody got to speak up on that end and, and call it right. Somebody say something. They need to call it out instead of being right. silent. That's, that's right. why they blame the media, man. Yeah, they right. don't call them out. I mean, they say, oh, really? He did, he actually, just, oh, he did this. Just see a liar. Just right. say, he's a liar. I don't know if you can blame the media for that though. 
They, they need to call they're them out. They get, yeah, they reported. Like that reporter that stood up and said something to her. Oh, to, uh, but see, those are the ones that they don't want to hear. Exactly. Yeah. So exactly. Not, of course, so you're not, so not going to. I'm saying on these news shows when they yeah, report right. on it, instead of this saying, instead of this sugarcoating and saying, oh, he misspoke and he did this and he did it, untruth. It's a lie. Chris I was I was raised. If right. you don't un, you don't tell the truth, it's a lie. Right. Chris Call Paul. him a liar. Yeah, I don't yeah. care who he is. Plain and simple. He's yeah. a liar. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Hey, um, great discussion, fellas. We're gonna come back with the second part of this, all right? Because I know all of us have an opinion, but the second part coming up is gonna be something that um that all that has affected all of us. All right. So we'll be right back. Opinions right. matter. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. I thought I'd take a little bit of digression here to uh, discuss some concerns raised by our church friends about separation of families. Many of the criticisms raised in recent days are not fair, not logical, and some are contrary to plain law. First, illegal entry into the United States is a crime. It should be, it must be, if you're going to have a legal system and have any limits whatsoever. Persons who violate the law of our nation are subject to prosecution. If you violate the law, you subject yourself to prosecution. And I would cite you to the Apostle Paul and his clear and wise command in Romans uh, 13 to obey the laws of the government because God has ordained, ordained the government for his purposes. Orderly and lawful processes are good in themselves, consistent fair application of law is in itself a good and moral thing and that protects the weak. It protects the Hey, welcome back. What up? To our, to our second part of our, um, of our segment today, we're talking about religion. The first, in the first segment, we talked about religion and politics. Um, in this segment, fellas, we want to talk mm -hmm. about religion and the black community. Mm -hmm. All right, so, all right, so the church has traditionally informed, easy, easy. influenced, and guided the day-to-day -day lives of, of many African Americans. We know that for a fact, right? Mm -hmm. The black church is not just a place of spirituality and enlightenment, mm -hmm. but a place of empowerment for African Americans. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. so, um, <laughs> so basically, it's it's where we get our information from, right? It's where we get right. our hope from, all right. And it's where we get some. Some of us get our dreams from, right? So, so now, but but has the has the has the church led the black community astray? Though yeah. that, that that is the question. Mm. Right? Do we depend too much on um, the church and the things that we learn from the church? For example, I know we've heard the term where people say, "Hey." Um, how you doing? Well, I'm going through something, but I'm praying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm praying that it's going it's going to work itself out. Right. Right? right. So my thing is, and I grew up like that. Right. My, my parents used to you got down on your knees at night, you had to pray that you know pray for everybody and their well being, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, bam, something happens. For me, I grew up all my life, church, church, church. You pray, good things happen. You live your life the right way, good things are happening for you, right? You, uh, you, you respect your elders, mm -hmm. you, you listen to your parents, you do this. Then all of a sudden, for me, my mom was taken away. Right. So then that made me question everything that's going on because mm -hmm. I never met another woman or person that led their life along that same path of the Bible. She gave her tithes, right? Mm -hmm. She gave her time and she gave her talents, right? So why... Was my mom not, you know, uh, why was she, for, in my instance, forsaken? Right. Mm -hmm. Right? So, church, okay. right, religion, and the black community. So that's, what mm -hmm. say you? Okay. Can, before I say anything, let me let me pre preface it this Everybody way. Everybody got to do this. Go ahead. But <laughs> my mom never made me go to church. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. Now, grandma, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And my, you know, my stepmother, they were very into the church. Right. And I also want to say, I have never had a connection with, mm -hmm. with church okay. or the institution of religion in, in any capacity. Now, that does not mean I don't have a connection, a spiritual connection. Okay. So I want to make that perfectly clear, that okay. I'm, for those who are watching, yeah. that, that's two different things. Mm -hmm. Now, having said that, 
I've always viewed, and just in my my view, that church was a, a waste of time to me. Okay. And why you say that? But as a you know coming up, you know I I went to AME churches, you okay. know as a kid, you mm -hmm. know you, you, I went to you know Baptist churches, Vacation Bible School, yeah that too. <laughs> you know I went to all of those, right. and I I used to sit in 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 within the congregation in the pews, and I and I would just observe you know like the the mother of the church and. Okay. The, the deacons and deaconesses, and I would just look at them, and they all were dressed the same. They all had that same demeanor about them, mm -hmm. and I look and I'm like, "That's not what I, you know, that's not what I want, you know." Okay. And I'm like, "What's the purpose?" Right. And I always sat, you know, sat there. What's the purpose? You know, you you you're at church every Sunday. You 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 listening to what the pastor says, and when you leave here, you're not taking any of that with you happens a lot you know and I just kind of lost my connection with it okay and probably mm -hmm. probably never had a really a real good connection with okay. it. and I always said to myself look I don't have to be that person that sits in church every Sunday right to feel like I'm blessed okay. so I always just remove myself from it. Mm -hmm. and how about the teachings of the uh, uh, of the church um, I know some of some of the stuff I think everybody should should, should take with them empathy mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, you should, you should always right. respect the neighbors, right. treat your neighbors right. as you right. want to be but treated, that kind of stuff. But I don't think that's a church-related thing. No, 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 it's no, just, it like, it's right. just a human. But that's right. 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 But the church does show as the, yeah. serve as the platform yeah. For, yeah. for many people. That's right. That's what he's saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, especially in the black community. Church is, right. is the oldest institution, right. the pillar of the black community, right? right? I mean, despite what we learned when we grew up, mm -hmm. when, when we were growing up, the church was absolutely right. I agree with that, but I know you had an Easter suit, a couple of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said your Easter speech, Jesus wept, lavender, and look, Jesus wept. Right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go go ahead. ahead. Go well, ahead. you know, I, this is a very, this is a very interesting topic and one that I'm like really familiar with because, like Kelvin, I was brought up in church. I mean. I mean, ever since I can remember, I was in church, and yeah. you know, I was told that I was going to be a preacher. I I was an ordained minister. I don't practice ministry, but it's something that I'm very familiar with. But I think, like, like, uh, well, maybe not like on, on you all, like unlike you all, I had questions, and it wasn't until I turned like forty that I started having questions about why is it that we are reading a colonial version. Mm -hmm. of what it's supposed to be for us mm -hmm. and we're African American like I thought we fought like a war because we were upset with the way England was treating the country so now we all of a sudden inherit this Bible that don't talk like me the characters in it definitely don't look like me then when I read the Bible and I get to the Gospels mm -hmm. how in the world, I, at 40 I asked the question, where did Matthew Mark, Luke and John come in the middle of Mispah? Like, we all of a sudden got real colonial in the middle, mm -hmm. and then we go right back to maybe going into the Middle East with the way that we talk, the vernacular. I'm thinking all of these thee and thou don't make sense to me. I have all of these questions. When I pray, I'm seeing Jesus as white Ooh. because that's what's been ingrained in my head. So all of these different kind of questions, not that the church didn't serve as a purpose for me right. to be able to feel like, you know, hey, I need to treat my neighbor my right. Mm -hmm. You know, I need to, I need to, you know, uh, 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 be an upstanding person mm -hmm. in my community, all of those things. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I start with, again, having these questions. I'm like, in 1619, when the first slaves came and they landed at Fort Comfort and they were given this particular uh, translation of mm -hmm. what they should go by, Got a problem with them. So, got, got problem so your them. question is, were they given this to control them? Or were they, they, or, they definitely. Were they given this to give them hope? Absolutely. See, and the, and the thing is, the, the, the history shows when you start looking at it, they were, it was given to control them. Certain passages were given. Romans 13. So, bam, there you go. So, you know. Okay. All right, Mr. Keys, I see you got some notes here. Talk to me. <laughs> you take your phone from you. Go ahead, Mr. Keys. I can't. I'm, I'm. I'm. Let me get the disclaimer. Like, look, like, oh, what's your name called? LeBron. You about to go to LeBron? I gotta get the disclaimer. <laughs> disclaimer, like, I'm and uh, you know, I, I, I believe in a higher power. Okay. Right. But 
as far as religion, going to church, I don't do it. I, when I was raised, coming up, my mom made us go to church. Oh, I know your summer. mom made you go. Yeah, we had to go. And, and the Bible school during mm-hmm. the summer and mm-hmm. all that. You know, we did that. Okay. But so, that being said. So when did you come to where you're at now? Um, a few years ago. Um, I don't know how many years ago it okay. was, but part of mine, I, mm-hmm. I was working mm-hmm. for him. And he's a um, good friend in high school. He uh, hit me with Hidden Colors, the documentary. Okay. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, and then recently four came out. Okay. Uh, okay. And in that, they tap on religion. Okay. Mm-hmm. And he's like, yo, you need to listen to this. So I got down and listened to it, and I'm like, what? And this is, they hit on the same thing as you were saying. Okay. It said when, when, they, uh, when uh, the Europeans took over Africa, they said Africa, they didn't do it, they didn't do it by force. Mm-hmm. They didn't do it by, they did it by spiritually. Mm-hmm. And they said a guy named Joe Mo Kenyatta came in. He said the white man had the Bible, right? And the black man had, this, had the land. He said, "Let us pray." When he said, when he looked up, the white man had the land, and the white man had the Bible. <laughs> right, right. And that fits today, right? right. You know, right. you know. But and um, go ahead. No, no, no. Go, continue, continue. So, and it's a lot of inconsistencies in the Bible that I, I've seen, and, mm-hmm. and and this documentary has enlightened me on this. Like, Throw one out there. Throw one out there too. Jesus, that's not his name. Okay, and they 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 just Tony says the letter J wasn't even into right. existence. Right. Okay. So how is his name? Heard that. Okay. And I researched it. And I was like, and that's it's up on YouTube and different. So at the, at the time the Bible was written, or the time that they say that that went on, the J was not in was it. not was okay. not even in existence. Okay. Came into existence in um fifteen hundreds or something okay. like that. Okay. Something like that. Mm-hmm. okay. So I'm um, like that and then they said back when the King James version of the Bible, they said um the the picture, the last song. The mm-hmm. Last song. That's not that's that's false. Okay. Because they was like, okay, King James went to um Mike Angelo and said, I need you to paint a picture the last song. So he had no picture of Jesus and the disciple. Only he on, it was only um image of us. Right. Right. So he said make it European. So he had no. So what he did is he got people out of the local jail and his relatives to sit in, and he painted the last song. Mm. But nobody right. going to admit see, that. Right. But you, but you see that picture in churches and some people crowds. Right. What was what was what was the quote he said? Charlemagne and God. He said nobody cares about the truth but the lie sounds better. Yeah, you know, but also mm-hmm. also for me, mm-hmm. um, a lot of people don't think for them. I, I, they don't think that, that, for themselves. Yeah. They don't think logically yeah. about their. I mean, you can go. And again, I don't have any problem with church or people who go. I have no problem right. with people who attend church every Sunday and, and, and go to Bible study and all of that. Right. But there comes a point where you have to think for yourself. Right. And I think a lot of people, they go to the church to hear the pastor tell them what to do, right. even if it may be wrong. Mm-hmm. See, but this is the thing, right? So you can imagine someone who has spent 30, 40 50 years of their life in the church hearing, mm-hmm. hearing one yeah. thing, yeah. Mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And, and the church tells you that the Bible is not up for interpretation or argument. Mm-hmm. So if they tell you that... And you then, better church, son. You better <laughs> church. Then, you know, if, if Donald comes That's in right. or whatever and says, hey, hidden colors say blah, 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 they won't even, they're going to stay shut down right there. Right. Because they don't want to hear and, it. And precisely, That's the problem. That's To me, that's the problem. And is you, that you, yeah. you have to be able to listen to other people, right? And if you're unwilling as a as a pastor, as a as a as a even as a person, as a person, right? But I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> but even as a <laughs> but as a, as a pastor, I, I think that you're, you're not doing your job right. if you're not really willing to listen to an, another point of view right. that's not your own. This, this and, is, and so, like, I I remember. Yeah. Um, I said I I used to mm-hmm. go to an AME church, mm-hmm. uh, and mm-hmm. anybody knows what AME. Is. Right. You know, as, and a Baptist church, really the same kind of church, mm-hmm. but one doesn't interact with the other. And I'm like, well, wh- how, why not? And I used point. to ask a, a question, point. and I used to ask a question, and mm-hmm. this is probably what got me thrown out of church, uh, <laughs> the church a couple of times. Not not a church, but, but I, I would ask, the party. I, would, no, I wasn't invited no more. I mean, but I would ask the question. I said, why don't you like these people? They they got the same Bible. They 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 preach the same gospel, but. Yeah, you won't sit by at the table with this guy 
who who believes a little bit differently than you. Probably like, Sister McCaddy, come get your yeah. <laughs> so, so Asking all these questions. So, yeah. So, but, and, and when you ask a question as a kid, you ask a question of a, mm. of a, of a preacher. You ask a question of a, of a deacon. Mm-hmm. And the first thing they say is, you know, no, no, no. You, you, that, you, you're you not supposed to think that you way. Don't touch on that. Right? And, then you, and then you go to another church and they say, no, no, no. No, you're not supposed to think that way. And then you say to yourself, well, why don't y'all like to, don't y'all supposed to be together? So, I mean, I just don't understand that logic. Yeah. So. Hey, I agree. Hey, fellas, man, great discussion. Yeah. All right. For yeah. real, for real. I think I think this is, we needed this. We can get real deep into this. Yeah. yeah. It's like, it's we probably could come back and do some more. Yeah. Yes. 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 Uh, I'm, I'm going to ask my friend, yeah. I'm going to ask yeah. my friend, uh, Mr. Canty. Is he, um, uh, to come join us, uh, he is a deacon at this uh-oh, church. Uh-oh. Me and Mr. Canty, uh, man, he this man I can credit him with a, with a lot of stuff, but he he was one of the ones who um, uh, who prayed for me mm. when right. I was, when I was going through a rough time in my life. So he didn't even know it, but uh, he he, he brought stuff. me out of a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna ask Mr. Canty to join. But in saying all that, but in saying all that, I did learn some things. Yeah, you know, but, you, but you but, but you have to question. But you, but but you we, also like, have to question. Yeah, yeah. but you, everybody has questions. So right, it's, and it's, you can't. Lot of, and I think just to the pastor, you shouldn't shut people down for asking something different. Well, exactly. you know, and I agree well, with it, that. It depends on how you ask it. No, no, no. But uh, yeah, that's true. You, but you, I'm just saying. Yeah, but, but you should. But, you, <laughs> but but I do. But I do believe that each religion should. If you're going to be a part of right. You should respect those who don't think the same as you. And you know? and, I, and, and like you all. you said, uh, to me, a church, black, especially the black church, empower your people to think. Yeah. If, if I've always said, if what you believe in can't withstand my criticism, you might have to look at what you believe. Hey, yeah. yeah. hey, that's true. Hey, yeah. Stop bringing them politicians in there too. Yeah. 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 But anyway, hey, we'll be right back. All right, with just my opinion. Stay tuned. Thanks to the memories, the first and third of the month check deliveries, ATCs in the early 80s. Forgive me. Back to the last segment, all right? Um, and this is the Just My Opinion segment where we four give our opinions on a variety of topics, all right? It may not, my opinion may not be his, his, or his, but it's mine. That's right. And it needs to be heard, all right? So, hey, I'm going to go first. All right, cool. All right, so. It's getting hot, fellas. Right? Oh, it's right. getting hot. It's getting hot, right? It's getting hot. And we need to be drinking water. Yeah. All right? Another thing is you need to be putting on Vaseline on your wrist. <laughs> uh, what is this the thing? Man, what is this the thing? What is this the thing? This is the thing, all right? This is a dead on me. How you going to jump on Vaseline? Put that down, man. Put that down. Put that down. Because, 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 because water hydrates. Look at that. Look at that. Listen, man. Water hydrates you, right? <laughs> right? Right? And if you're not right, hydrated, right. if you're not hydrated, it's gonna manifest itself in a lot of different ways. Right. One is the lips gonna get white. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. So I want to make sure that y- y'all take care of yourself. There we go. All right. Drink water. All right. And watch out for them lips. All right. All right. If y'all, right. Can, if y'all can see, if you can see, if you can see how producer Ray in the background. Y'all, y'all be fine. Right now. <laughs> no, ain't cool. y'all That's be just cool. my opinion. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, my opinion is this, you know, and you know, I'm always talking about community yes. things, but one thing that's really been bothering me here as of late is our RISE community group in Waynesboro, Virginia. Waynesboro. We started a reading and writing camp. We trying to get people to come and volunteer, but specifically black men and can't get any. Mm, wow. This is a problem. Now, I'm one of the men, black men as well, that come and volunteer. And all I'm saying is if we put out a plea and we want you to be a part of the solution in regard to our young people learning how to read and how to write and how to think, and we put out a plea for black men to come out and we don't get any, that's a problem. Black men, please come out. Please come out in whatever... Organiz- organization that you find yourself able to fit into, do that because you're definitely needed. That's just my opinion. All right, now it's <laughs> good stuff. Who you got? Me? Yes. Okay, I might I might have to get witness protection for this. Uh oh. But anyway, uh, it's Father's Day weekend. Be easy. Be easy. And so, for first and foremost, to all the fathers out there, uh, 
who are doing their job not, uh-huh. and who are doing what they're supposed to do. Not daddies. Not daddies. Not daddies. Not daddies. But fathers. <laughs> I honor every every single one of you. I wish my father was here, but you know, mm-hmm. and he was a great father. But this is to all you moms out there. Father's Day is not about you. Oh. All right? Oh. Okay. So don't expect to get a happy Father's Day <laughs> from me. Okay. If you're a single mom, you're a single mom. All right. I, I respect that, but the day is not about you. So just honor the fathers who are there and stop trying to make the day about you. That's it. I'm done. All right. Uh, that's my opinion. And, and the door, I'm about to leave. I walk you. I walk you. Walk you. Walk you. <laughs> Let somebody start your car. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm, glad, I'm glad y'all know where I live. But look. <laughs> on the... Hey, hold on. Let's let Leon. Go ahead, Leon. What you got? Let's see Here we go. No, I was going to get deep, but I'm not. But I'm going to say, you know, if you don't like what's going on today in America mm-hmm. with, with this guy, the orange dude in the White House, and he's with the immigrants and all he's doing, and you support this dude, that's fine. But if you don't like what he's doing, then you need to get registered to vote. Amen. Mm-hmm. All right. Get people to register. People yeah, that you know that's not registered. Yeah. You know, because it's a very critical time we're getting up on in this country. It it's is. It's getting dangerous. It is. Right. Because, you know, you got people coming out their mouth any type of way. Right. You know, they, they figure because this guy's in. in that's in, it. Because he can say anything out of his mouth. That right. They can say anything out there. Right. 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 You know what I'm saying? But I shouldn't say that. <laughs> right. But we need to stay aware of our surroundings when we like nowadays, especially mm-hmm. black men. Mm-hmm. And um we need to um uplift one another. That's right. right. That's right. And um we need to just like just do the right thing. Cause this dude, man, is yeah. <sighs> Um, get out the vote, man. Yeah. 20, yeah. 2018, get out the vote. It's I coming agree, up. Man. Get I out agree. the vote. Tell you anybody, you know, get out the vote. As long mm-hmm. as you're legal and registered to vote. And right. Like, you know, because the stats are not looking, the stats are looking like you may get real. Hey, I'm it's a, it's a very real. Hey, man, look, I'm not, I'm not going to say nobody I'm not. Hey, <laughs> nobody thought you were weird. Exactly. I know yeah, I didn't. True. I but, didn't. But if you, I thought it was but, a joke. But if, if this environment right now doesn't inspire you exactly. to go out there, there go. and nothing get nothing well. Right, and you just a glutton for punishment. That's or right. you are a supporter, and you believe in a person who has kind of racist views, in my right. opinion. Right, and, and and so if you're either a part of the solution or you part of the problem. Exactly. And yeah. if you didn't vote, you ain't got nothing. To I'm gonna need you to be quiet. Yeah. Right, don't say nothing. ASAP. Yep. yep. ASAP. Yep. yep. Hey, fellas, man, good segment today. My man, man. telling you, man. Hey, we. Hey, discussion was great. All right, this good. I gotta get rid of this neighbor, man. All right. Dude, man. But anyway, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, look, what's your name? Hey, look, we may petty. not, we may not be <laughs> experts at anything, <laughs> but we have opinions about everything. All right, all right. Next next time three. To the Agencies in the early 80s for giving cheese to families with parents who had drug dependencies. Mass jizz and storefront ministries. Dinners from the chicken lady, Miss Genevieve. For every lesson I received as I live and breathe. And all the blessings I believed in and then achieved. Thanks to my moms for never getting rid of me. And to my lady, baby, thank you for forgiving me. I climbed from the lower level to the mezzanine.